Thanks for clicking on Zeitgeist. I'm Willie Geist. Good news! Japan unveiled yet another completely impractical, totally useless robot today. That's their greatest national export, after all. Here you have a guy controlling some sort of robot with his brain. It's the latest development from the good people at Honda. Now, if you want a piece of this action, all you have to do is have this giant machine installed in your home, then slip on the patented mind-reading cap and control the movements of a robot that does nothing you'd ever want a robot to do. The computer apparently reads brain waves and then the robot moves with your thoughts or something. Even Honda acknowledges this thing sucks. They say it's in the early research phase and needs years of development. You know what? Let's just go ahead and abandon that project now, gang. Let's move now to the kind of story for which a journalist waits a lifetime. An Ohio man was arrested recently for driving a motorized bar stool while drunk. Police say the man crashed his vehicle, I guess you could call it, on a street in Newark, Ohio. He hit the curb and went head first into the street. Basically, what you have there, friends, is a bar stool with a motor and wheels attached to it. After the man crashed his motorized bar stool, his friends made a fantastic call to 911. 911. I had a friend here that wrecked a bar stool, hit the pavement with his head. Okay, but he fell just from the bar stool? Um, no. We was riding the bar stool. Okay. Motorized bar stool. Okay. New York Police Emergency. We're sending a squad over there for a gentleman who wrecked him a motorized bar stool and with head laceration and he's got uh, alcohol on board. All right. All right. Um, no, he was riding a bar stool. The man was charged with operating a vehicle while impaired. Now, after he was done with the cops, the guy still had to address his medical situation. Luckily, he was trained for just such an emergency. Actually, I drank quite a bit after I wrecked because my head hurt so bad. I went in and I drank a half a bottle of whiskey. The lesson here is one we've been trying to hammer home to our youngsters for years. If you've been out drinking, give the keys to your motorized bar stool to a friend. Does it have keys? Pull start? Either way, friends don't let friends drive motorized bar stools drunk. And if you have a friend with a motorized bar stool, end that friendship at once. That's Zeitgeist for today. I'll be back here soon with much more of the news you cannot use.